All right, all right. Let's go ahead and hop into this. Woo. Hey, if you could go ahead and hit me up in the in the chat section, just want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm coming through clear that you can hear me. Uh, for those guys who don't know, uh, this is not normal. This is not normal. This is not what I normally do in terms of doing a live during the middle of the week. Uh, typically, we're doing our live Thursday evenings at 9 p.m. For those guys who don't know, my name is Brian, a.k.a. Uncle B. And for the last 20 years, I've been a men's performance coach with African Fly. What's going on, Benny B? Uh-huh. All right. All right, we got some good questions coming in already. Um, yeah, like I said, this is sort of unusual. Uh, normally, or uh, at ten o'clock, uh, one one o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Thursdays, that's when I have a video. Nine PM, that's when I talk about the videos, answer your questions, and all that stuff. But I had some questions that came through the comment section. I love getting the comments. Love the questions. Always great to hear from you guys. Um, but something came through that was. It, it, it weighed heavy on my heart. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to talk about it because a lot of times, you know, um, uh, I get questions in and we try to do what we can to answer the questions. And, you know, I take my time, try to get it scripted, get the information right. But this is something that uh, just came through. And uh, with no more ado, I want to go ahead and just read it uh, really quickly. This came through uh, from a man, James, who was asking the question. He was saying, I was taking high blood pressure medication. For a number of years, basically over 25 years, 25 years, it caused me to have ED. I dropped my blood pressure over to 93 over 61, and I can barely get an erection now. What do I do? Um, well, you're going to have to do a lot. <laughs> what's going on, Dada? Uh, hey, Mike, what's going on? Baltimore in the house. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things that need to be done with that, but there's something even bigger uh, that uh, I want to get into. And it was interesting. This comment came through and then immediately following came this comment from Juan. He said, I did intermittent fasting, cut out sugar, cut out deep fried foods, cut out salt, cut out red meats, cut out white bread, rice and pasta. I took cold showers every day. Only walked and stretched, only cooked with olive oil, avocado oil, coconut butter. Did this for four months and my diabetes is now gone. My A1C is 5.3. Hey, what's going on, Jarius? Yeah, that's that's the whole point, guys. Um, you know, the thing that incenses me about the medical industry, I, I actually worked at um, NIH, National Institute for Health, in the science lab area. Um, and... I understand this whole thing that they've been doing with pills. They're trying to get people to believe in magical pills that you're supposed to take these pills for the rest of your life. I mean, think about the mentality here. You go to your doctor, you're like, hey, I have high blood pressure. I don't want to have high blood pressure. They say, okay, cool. We're going to give you these pills and you're going to have to take them for the rest of your life. Well, hold up. So you're saying I should maintain having high blood pressure. You're not going to cure me. You're not going to give me something to get over this. I have to stay in this same range for the rest of my life. Obviously, that makes no sense, but that's what we do. That's what we've been trained to do. It's like, hey, you go to your doctor. Your doctor says, I'm going to give you these magical pills, and that's it. That's all you have to do. That makes no sense. I need for all my guys out there to understand this because this has been beat into our heads. All you have to do is go to the doctor. They're going to give you a pill. Don't change your lifestyle. Just keep coming back to us and taking our pills. I sell supplements, and I tell people all the time they're supposed to supplement the other things that you're doing. You can't just take something and just, huh, you know what? I was drinking 40s. I can't get an erection. I'm going to take African Fly. Ha! Well, African Fly didn't work for me. The product didn't work. You're a fraud. It's like, what are you talking about, dude? You have to stop what you're doing. You, you were following a pattern that got you to where you were. And the sad thing is that this happens a lot. I have relatives who I'm like, oh, well, I've been taking this medication. Oh, how long? Ten years. That means it doesn't work. It's that simple. If you have to take something for the rest, a pill for the rest of your life, that means it doesn't work. You're supposed to be eating things that come out of the ground, things from nature all the time. You don't need all this extra stuff. If you, I mean, believe me, and don't get me wrong. If I'm in an accident, and, you know, something's banged up, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Drug me up. <laughs> Give me whatever I need so I can live. Absolutely. But when it comes down to it, if you are being told to take something for the rest of your life, it's not going to work. Period. 
it's going to end up like my man says. Um, I was taking high blood pressure medication for 25 years. It caused me to have ED. That's what's going to happen because you're not doing the things to reverse the lifestyle that you have. Whatever you take is going to end up causing more harm because you didn't fix the symptoms. Now you added something else to that amazing chemistry that's in your body. And that something else is going to, over a period of time, do what it's supposed to do. It lowered his blood pressure to the point that his body can't regulate it anymore. Your body is a wonderful repair machine. It can fix whatever. It's supposed to fix whatever. Whereas, like I said, you have one, diabetes, did intermittent fasting, cut out the sugar, cut out the deep fried foods, cut out salt, cut out red meats, cut out the bread and pasta, took cold showers, only walked, stretched. He did what he was supposed to do. He changed his lifestyle. And so he's going to be good. So to answer James' questions, what do I do? You change your lifestyle. Uh, El Boogie in the house. What's going on with you, cuz? <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, but yeah, you have to do what you're supposed to do with your lifestyle in order for this to work. You have to make the changes. Guys, I'm, I'm being very serious. I'm passionate about this because uh, I've seen this affect my own family. Uh, I grew up around my grandmother and to see what happened to her. She did a slip and fall, fell down the steps, broke her hip, uh, went to the hospital on two drugs, came out on 22 drugs, did the research with a friend of mine, come to find out she only needed half of those drugs. And what was crazy is that they were telling her, a woman in her 60s at that time, that you can eat whatever you want. I'm in my 20s. And I'm like, I can't eat whatever I want. What do you mean she can eat whatever she wants? That doesn't make any sense. So we have to be careful with these, with the doctors. Hey, I appreciate the, the doctors who know and trying to help. But a lot of times they are taught. They're not taught about food. They're taught about how to sell medicines. And we have to be very careful with that. Um, like I said, this is sort of new. I don't regularly go live like this, but you know, I was incensed by this. I want you guys to get this message, get it clear through your heads so you can uh, pass this on to other folks. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I just had to get on here live. I really do appreciate you guys coming in here. Uh, let me go ahead and answer this question um, from, uh, I'm not sure I want to say I'm going to say Ray. <laughs> Let's go with Ray uh, so I can pronounce it right. In the case of anxiety performance, what should I do? Uh, really quickly, you need to relax that, that anxiety. <laughs> that anxiety. And the first, first way you do that was breathing exercises. Uh, check out uh, the next video that's coming out on Thursday at 1 p.m. Um, I actually talk about breathing exercises, things that you can do. You know, When you're anxious, what's the first thing you do? Your breathing is off. As soon as you got your breathing going on, you're relaxed. Uh, also, you know, do some meditation in terms of keeping in mind the fact that you have had some great performances. Don't focus on the bad performances. Focus on the great performances. Also, there are certain things that you can do before your performance to make sure you have a good performance. We're talking about what you eat. Preferably, you're not eating right before your performance. Give yourself three hours, like if you're going swimming. <laughs> uh, and prefer preferably you got a good night's sleep before a uh, good eight hours in you uh, have done some exercises earlier on don't exercise right before you're having sex you don't want to wear yourself out um, and you know if you can do fasting if you can relax give your body a chance to heal that's going to be much better for you and like I said your soul how you if you're stressed you have to de-stress yourself that meditation is going to work that breathing is going to work for you so there we go. Hey, I appreciate everybody on here. Um, yeah, make sure to check out the video that's coming out this Thursday. Uh, it's 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 actually sort of crazy. We did some uh, we did some extra things on this video. So, and also make sure you check us out at 9 p.m. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Uh, if you're on here, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the like button. You know, <laughs> just make it easy for me and uh, my team to make things go. So, hey, uh, Jarius, Mike, Philip, everybody, uh, Benny B, L Boogie, appreciate you all. I'm out of here. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.